Okay, so I charge our cold brew coffee with nitrogen. It's in this bottle. I shake it a little bit and it should be ready right now. Hey guys, it's Ali from European Coffee Trip and in this video I will show you how to make nitro coffee, which means making cold brew coffee and then infusing it with nitrogen. So let's get into it. Can you remember the first time you saw or tasted nitro coffee? For me, it was in 2017 at Happy Baristas in Berlin. Not only we tasted their nitrogen infused coffee and tea, but we also looked behind the scenes of their production. I still remember the huge impression from the cascading effect and creamy texture of nitro coffee. Since then, nitro coffee became a popular drink. We see it more and more often in the specialty cafes, but also in commercial coffee shops and coffee chains. I see four main reasons why nitro coffee became so popular. You can prepare everything in advance in bigger batches. You can serve it in no time from a tap on a bar. Due to its creamy velvety texture, it's appealing also for people who usually don't drink black coffee and prefer milk. The cascading effect of nitro coffee is so visually pleasing that many people want to try it just because of that. Okay, you are probably already sold on nitro coffee since you are watching this video, but what can you do to drink nitro coffee at home? First, you need to make cold brew coffee. Second, you need to infuse it with nitrogen in a proper dispenser. We made a whole video about cold brew coffee, so if you haven't seen it yet, perhaps now is a good time to do it to get a full picture. Since I need quite a lot of cold brew coffee, I decided to use Toddy Cold Brewer. I used 120 grams of coffee. It was Colombian washed coffee roasted by Rebel Bean in Brno and about 720 milliliters of water. So it was brew ratio of one to six. I prefer the concentrate that I can then dilute to my preferred taste. So that's what I did. And after separating some cold brew, I had 500 milliliters that I diluted with about 300 milliliters of cold water. Now I had my cold brew coffee ready to be infused with nitrogen. Several years ago, the number of tools available for nitro coffee was very limited. Early adopters had to use tools from craft brewing world to actually make it happen. Now, in 2020, things are different. And you can buy several consumer products for under 200 euros or dollars, which is still a lot of money, but if you like it, you can get it. Also, there are several coffee brands selling nitro coffee packed in cans. So that's the easiest way how to taste it at home, but I guess you are watching this video to learn more than that, right? There are two kinds of machines available. One is a kick style and other is more a whipper style. For some reason, we lean towards the whipper style nitro coffee makers. And there are two main products that came out of our research. Nitro Press from London's Hatfields that sells for about 145 euros and Nitro Whip from Austrian Isi that sells for about 135 euros. Now, I have to say that we didn't want to spend that much money and we thought why we can't use a green whipper that is like 50% cheaper instead. Yeah, we tried and failed. At least we can show it to you. There are two main reasons why it didn't work for us. Number one, Green whippers use charges filled with nitrous oxide that adds bubbles and foam to coffee but doesn't produce the creamy velvety structure we expect from nitro coffee. Number two, you can buy nitro chargers separately but they are bigger in size so they won't fit the charger holder. There is a brand we saw called Best Whip and there might be also some others that produce nitro chargers compatible with their cream whippers. So that can be a way to save money but we haven't tried. Now, let's stop talking and make our nitro coffee. Once you have cold brew coffee and nitro coffee dispenser, it's very simple. You pour coffee into the flask. The maximum capacity is one liter. We fill it with 800 milliliters. You close it. Charge it with nitrogen. Shake it for a few times and then pick a nice transparent glass and pour it there. And then you have it. 
Nitro Cold Brew Coffee. You can enjoy the cascading effect and the creamy texture of black coffee. Okay, so this is a Nitro Coffee and here I have just a, a regular cold brew, cold brew coffee that I... <laughs> not enough. So this is a before nitro, before nitro charging, and this is after it. Let's taste it. So the taste is not that much different. It's not changed completely, but you know, nitrogen adds so much of a creaminess. So it feels almost like a coffee with milk, but it's not, it's black coffee, just nitrogen. That's so cool. The last three things I wanted to mention. The maximum capacity is one liter, but there is no minima. So we tested for about 150 milliliters and the infusion was okay, but not as effective as with the full bottle. We need yet to discover the optimal threshold. So we paid for this box of 16 nitro charges about 12 euros, which means one charge costs about 70 to 80 cents. You don't need to fill a dispenser only with black coffee. It's quite popular coffee cocktail tool, so you can experiment with different style of coffee drinks and let us know if we should explore this topic, nitro coffee cocktails, also for the next video. I hope that you enjoy our process of learning how to make nitro coffee. Now, there are two videos that I think can be interesting for you to watch next. One is definitely nitro coffee at Happy Baristas, where you can see more professional setup inside of the coffee shop. And the second video is about how to make cold brew coffee. Now, thank you guys for watching and I'm looking forward to see you in the next video very soon. Thank you, bye bye.